bolts in place, this little squirt is ready to go! <laughs> that was my Uncle Pat, the dopest hombre I've ever known. You know, Homeskins, my uncle provided a small service which helped the whole community. He taught me that everyone adds something important to the big picture. Oh, oh, like each little Viennese boy is important to the whole Vienna Boys Choir? Uh, yes. Now, your assignment is to scamper up your family tree and film one of your posse at work to show how they contribute. As you can see, my uncle's job, oh, well, very important. You mean important? Oh, uh, oh. I'm going to videotape my cousin Nora, a percussionist for the Hazelnut Symphony. If you can't appreciate the pointed plink of a glockenspiel, you're lost on a lonely sea. I'm going to film my Aunt Kathy, a pit crew woman for a race car team. The smell of the grease, the roar of the engines. Praise ye, O oh plug, so lovingly dubbed, Spark. I guess those jobs are nice, if you like peeking behind the curtain of life. Whose job are you filming that's so notable? The city is Hazelnut. The naked city. Crime and corruption run rampant. One man keeps this den of decadence in tow. He's my uncle. His name's Jojo. He's a cop. Robbery in progress downtown. Suspects approaching with stolen goods. Over. <laughs> Good thing you're in the back. This could get dangerous. Hold on. scaring me again. Easy, sister. You're messing with the heat. Girls, no heat. Uh, Pepper Ann, uh, why are you sitting in the trunk? I'm protected from danger this way. Danger? <laughs> oh. Here, have a donut. Mmm, whole wheat with a carob glaze. Good and good for you. Thanks. So what exciting feats of policedom do we tackle first? Dry cleaners downtown requires immediate assistance. Over. Oh, hold on. Here we go. <gasps> Jojo, I'm so glad you're here. What happened? Where are the robbers? <laughs> robbers. <laughs> no, Debbie doesn't believe in clocks, so she doesn't open the store until I come by and wave. Ooh, would you look at how perfectly starched these shirts are? Mmm, crisp. Oh no, a possible 729er. All right, a 729er. Mm. Oh, thank you for saving Mr. Tiffy Jojo. I owe you a hard cheese pizza. Uh, you're welcome, Mr. Inocenzi. Okay, up a little, up, 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 back a little more, back, no, 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 up a squoosh, cut it, cut it, whoa, whoa, up a little more, oh, no, that's my foot, back it up quickly, please. Two tofu dogs with turkey chili, air fries, and two organic bean colas, mmm. Aren't we doing anything exciting today? <laughs> you bet. We get to go back to the station and fill out these reports. And, uh, <clears throat> Peppy, don't tell the fellas, but I'll even let you use my new self-inking stamp. <laughs> Diggity! Get in here! Finally some action. Isn't this eavesdropping? No, it's human drama. Will you look at this report? 
You're getting sloppy. You're flying off the handle. I'm sick and tired of defending your screwball antics to the commissioner. Now I've got three days to retirement, and I don't want anything to screw it up for me. Oh, you got that. Oh, by the way, how are your kids? Great! Kyle's riding a two-wheeler, and Maggie's as cute as a button! Oh. Oh, hey! You want to stop and get a rice cream sundae? No, thanks. Uh, Pepper Ann, uh, <clears throat> is something troubling you? Didn't you like your day with the hazelnut blue? Just don't say anything. You'll only hurt his feelings. I thought your job was gonna be more, you know, exciting and meaningful. Policemen on TV affect people's lives. What you did today seems so unimportant. Oh, why do I even bother? Oh, Peppy. You see, every machine has many parts. Well, if one cog or screw is missing, well, the whole machine goes kablooey. <laughs> I'm a very important cog in the hazelnut machine. Mm-hmm. That's it. Work it. Thanks to your emergency room skills, I'm going to live. I'll never forget you, Doc Lederhosen. Oh. Peppy, I laid awake all night thinking about what you said, and you're right. I need to be somewhere where I can make a difference. So I'm transferring to Reno, where I'll go undercover to stop gambling. <laughs> well, illegal gambling, that is. What? What What about Aunt Janie and Ned? I'll send for them after I get settled. You know, you've changed my life for the better, Pepper Ann. Thanks. So? Jojo hopped the midnight train to Reno. I just can't believe it. I couldn't believe it either at first. But then I realized he was really wasting his talent scene. If you were with me yesterday, you would know what I mean. It was the worst. First, we waved to a woman in a dry cleaning store. <laughs> huh. Guess it isn't time to open the store. I haven't seen Jojo. Oh, good. There's that blackjack. Come on! I need my up! pants! Just when I thought it couldn't be more of a yawn fest, we help get Mr. Tiffy out of a tree. Finally, we helped an old man park for a million years. <laughs> sure, my film will be the most boring in the whole class, but it's a small price to pay for JoJo's happiness. Madame Defarge, vive la révolution! Mob's rule! What did you do? Now Jojo's gone and he's never coming back. The lawlessness and concentrated natural disasters in Hazelnut have thrown off the Earth's orbit. We are being sucked into a giant wormhole. Come down, Uncle Jojo! Yes! You're here. I'm a fool. You are a needed cog. I've learned my lesson. The machine needs cogs. Peppy, honey, it's 3 a.m. 
I just want you to know that you have an exciting, meaningful job which affects people's lives and is extremely important. And don't ever go to Reno. You hear me? Uh, okay. Here he tells Abe to cut the wheel hard. Now back up gently and he's parked. There he is, folks. My Uncle Jojo. A vital part of our community, our town, our world. Don't go away. Pepper Ann will be right back on Toon Disney. You haven't even started the science homework? Lilo, it's 12 pages long. I just finished. It took so long, I didn't even get a chance to break in my brand new air fuzzies. <laughs> Steve! This is Milo. Kamalani? Milo, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vidi, it's after school tomorrow. Happy, you've got to renew Steve's cat license after school tomorrow. No more procrastinating. Mom, Steve just mutilated Pepper Ann. Steve is your cat, and that makes him your responsibility. You can't have him traipsing around with an expired license like some hobo. And for heaven's sake, give Steve his dinner before he starves. Steve! Sometimes I wish I never even had a cat. Steve! Steve? I could have been whiling away the afternoon of idiots, but no! I spent three hours in the license renewal line for you, buddy. Any other cat would come running to thank me, but not Steve. Apparently, Steve has somewhere better to be. Peppy, I thought you were afraid of heights. Steve? Bu -bu 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 you can't go in there. He's very busy. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. She just walked... Supermodel Mindy here with a short list of demands. Okay. Things to ask Larry. <gasps> That's new. Okay. One, more money. Two, fresh floors. I mean, flowers in my dressing room. Four. Mindy, baby, we would love to help you out. But believe me, it just isn't in our budget. Don't you throw your fancy words at me. Look it, without me picking the lotto numbers, no one would watch your dumb old news show. Either you double my celery, or I am out of hair. Here. You'll be sorry. My fans will be not very happy. You'll never find a replacement. Ah. Find a replacement. Done. No, no. Dogs have unions. We need a star. Someone to revolutionize the lottery business. For little or no money. We need... We need... That. A cat? Not just any cat. Lotto cat. Steve? I just keep envisioning some little girl wandering the streets calling for her pet. Are you sure we can just... take him? Of course we can. What kind of owner would let her cat traipse around with an expired license like some, uh, hobo? Welcome to your new home, kitty. He doesn't have worms, does he? He's had a full physical, sir. <laughs> Welcome. Is that a personality or what? The people are gonna eat this fur ball up? The new face of the tri nut lotto will be... Steve the Cat! Hello, and welcome to Cat Finders. If you know the name of the cat you'd like to find, press 1. For a list of lost cats in your area, press 2. Well, uh, hi. Uh, you didn't happen to see Steve on your way in, did you? Because uh, I got his license renewed, but uh, I haven't exactly... Peppy can't find Steve. That's not true. He's just... If I know Steve the Cat, there's one thing that always brings him running. Kitty Yum Yum's Flounder Parts Fiesta, of course! Oh, uh, Steve! Where could he be? What do you want? Dinner? Oh, oh maybe your freedom, huh? Oh, too bad your lazy owner didn't renew your cat license on time. Oh, you'd have both those things! <laughs> Poor kitty! Hey, Peppy. Peppy, Peppy, look out. Poor Steve. Oh, yes. What a handsome kitty. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can be replaced. <laughs> oh, Lotto Cat.
This just in, a nuclear silo has exploded, unleashing deadly radiation over our... <laughs> I love you, Lotto Cat! <laughs> I done? Hey, don't worry so much. It's only been gone a few hours. Just get a glass of warm chill egg and go back to sleep. But what if he doesn't come back? Have some patience. Mom and Moose aren't worrying, and neither should you. Steve? Steve? He's never coming back. Oh, Peppy, everything will be fine. He wouldn't just up and leave. Ever since we got Steve to help you with your jealousy issues, when Moose was born, you and that darn cat have been inseparable. Yeah. It's not like you told me you wished you never had a cat. That's it. We are going out there, and we are going to find him. I can't bear to think of that poor cat braving the cold nights alone and unloved. Ha <laughs> ha! Bingo! Listen to this. Channel 96 picks a winner with Lotto Cat. The preliminary ratings are in, sir. Lotto Cat beat out all seven new shows and Good Night Gordy. Oh, oh, you're a gold mine, Steve. I will never let you out of my sight. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Steve. I'd like to thank you all for participating in Operation Come Home to Mama. The facts are, Steve the Cat has been missing for approximately 17 hours and 9 minutes. I have devised a detailed plan which will enable us to cover the most amount of ground in the least amount of time. Look, it all boils down to this. If I have to search every alley, every tree, every litter box in Hazelnut, I will find my cat. And that's a promise. What do you say? Are you with me? <laughs> Must you be so violent, Nikki? Take a ribbon. Help us find Steve the cat. Catline, do you have any information about Steve the cat's whereabouts? No, but will you get me a chill aid from the kitchen? Oh, I know. You're closer. Eyes are open and hearts are overflowing as the community unites to help a local girl find her lost cat. Good luck. We're all pulling for you. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, Lotto Cat! Right after these messages. What's the word on the streets? Any phone calls? Oh, yeah. First Internet Bank called. If your mom doesn't send 3150 by Friday, they'll cancel her credit cards. I'm sorry, Pepper Ann. No one has found Steve the cat. Oh. <laughs> Peppy, you've done all you can. Why don't you go to Vidiots and try to take your mind off of things? Meow, meow, Vidiots. Meow, meow, Peppy, meow. Take my mind off the fact that Steve the cat is out there all alone? He's my cat, and that makes him my responsibility. I can't go to Vidiots. I can't go anywhere until Steve is safely back in my arms. I can't believe you're gone. After all the fun we've had and... Ow! cat in the world. If you just come home, I promise I'll never take you for granted again. <laughs> Where are you? Change the channel, don't you dare. Lotto cat, lotto cat, you can make me a millionaire. You're my lotto cat, you're my lucky charm. With a furry arm, a truck for pa and a hip for ma, and the bank won't get the farm. Meow! Oh. 
how can we ever find someone to replace Steve the Cat? That fur messy dog! <laughs> Goodbye, Steve. Enjoy a new life, wherever you are. Steve, I missed you so much. Oh, Andy, you found him! He was in the backyard the whole time. I'm sorry to report that Lotto Cat is no longer with us. And now, get ready for Lotto Leapshin! Change the channel, don't you dare! Lotto Leapshin, Lotto Leapshin, you can make me a millionaire!